Raider Nation, what's going on? Hope everyone enjoyed their bye week. I know I didn't. Well, no, I kind of did. It was it was a nice week. It was nice to get to watch some football without worrying about, you know, when the Raiders were playing and all that stuff. But uh, glad to be back to some Raider football. Um, and they've made two significant transactions today. And, and when I say significant, one of them is is really significant compared to the other, in my opinion. Um, before we get into that, I just want to say, first off, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do us a favor while you're watching, just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, you know, and uh, comment below on your thoughts of the video and the Raiders in general. Um, you know, it really does help us out a lot. We really appreciate it. Um, also, be on the lookout for any other shows we drop. If it's East Coast Nation podcast, you know, uh, Yankee Chatter podcast, which probably won't be happening again till next season, but you never know. Um, you know, and anything me and Brad do together, and, you know, of course, the uh, live streams while we're watching the uh, Las Vegas Raiders play. And I must stress that I do not put the game on. I just sit there and kind of hang out with you guys, and we chat, and we have a good time. It's, it's a lot of fun, so be on the lookout for that. So, the first thing that dropped was that the Raiders have signed uh, defensive lineman David Irving. Uh, David Irving has been reinstated from an indefinite suspension. Um, you know, uh, David Irving is a guy that he's an advocate for marijuana use when it comes to not just not just being high all the time, but you know, managing pain, stress, and all that stuff. And he also believes in CBD, so it's not like he's just wanting to get high. He's trying to show that cannabis and cannabis oil and so on is a lot better than giving people a bunch of Viking and a Percocet. Now, you know me as a recovering addict. Um, I'm not a big marijuana person anyway, but uh, from what I went through, I would say that marijuana was probably an easier road to go through than trying to get kicked and just trying to, you know, get yourself off of opiates. So he might have something there. There's studies point each way. But, you know, nonetheless, he is a Raider now. Um, he has been signed to the practice squad, which I think it's more of a, he's got to get into somewhat shape. They've got to make sure with the COVID stuff. And then, not this week, but you're probably looking at probably week seven or eight, he will make his debut with the team. Um, you know, honestly, any addition to the defensive line is going to be good. And David Irving has the potential to stop the run. And he can sack the quarterback. He does get pressure on the quarterback. I believe uh, two seasons ago, his he had his career high of seven sacks. And as a defensive tackle, as he's listed, that, that's pretty good. Um, you know, the other thing that kind of popped out to me that made me think that this was a good fit was once again, Rod Marinelli got the best out of this guy. And, you know, Rod Marinelli is trying his hardest right now to get that defense and that defensive line to look better and better um, as the weeks keep going. And I don't know how you guys feel, but against the Chiefs, the defensive line did not play bad. I was actually impressed with the way the defensive line played against the Chiefs because they could have given up. You know, because it's the Chiefs, and they could have been like, you know what, it's going to be a blowout anyway, but they didn't. And they kept pressure in the quarterback, and some of the pressures they had developed into turnovers. And, uh, you know, if we add someone like David Irving to it, you know, you got to think about it. If everyone's healthy, which is a pipe dream, but you've got Crosby, you've got Furl, you've got Nassip, you've got Key on the outside... In the middle, you've got Hankins, you've got Malik Collins, you've got Mo Hurst, and then you also have David Irving. To me, that's not a bad defensive line, ladies and gentlemen of the Raider Nation. That is not a bad defensive line, and that is a line that I think can get consistent pressure on the quarterback, and that's what we need. With the young corners and the uh, inexperience at, at defensive back we have, we need to have some pressure so that, you know, our young corners can catch up in case they make a mistake. 
And also, you know, our linebackers need to catch up because, let's be honest, our linebackers are always tough anyway when it comes to covering players. It's just a known thing. Kutowski is doing okay. Littleton is doing subpar. Um, you know, McMillan, Morrow, all the other guys that are contributing, not doing great. But if they can get a consistent pass rush, that makes the linebackers play better, which makes the defensive blacks play better. Okay? And you know what? That just makes a better overall defense. And David Irving, um, a lot of people on Twitter wanted him, and they got him. And like I said, I, I would expect to see him in the next couple weeks suiting up for the Raiders, and I can't wait to see what number he gets because, you know, he's got to get added to the jersey collection. He's got to. You know, he's got to. It's just I'm, I'm sick in the head when it comes to that stuff. Um, second... Uh, news, which I think is a, is a big one, is that Marcus Mariota has been activated to the 53-man roster. So, don't know what John Gruden and Mike Mayock are going to do. I don't think they're going to keep three quarterbacks active all the time. So, I'm guessing Peterman and Mariota might, might you know, flip-flop, or Mariota's the backup from now on. Now, why do I think this is more significant than David Irving? It's more significant to the Raider Nation than it is the actual Raiders. Now that Marcus Mariota is healthy, if Derek Carr doesn't play well, the Carr haters and the guys who are on Carr are going to directly go to, you got to put in Mariota. You got to put in Mariota. And I think that's going to make a really big divide in the Raider Nation. It's not going to be nice. There's going to be a lot of issues, um, you know, in the Raider Nation now that Mariota is back on the team. And I just hope that the Raider Nation doesn't start to hate each other over this quarterback situation. Because 3-2, and two, if they consistently keep playing the way that they're playing, why get rid of Carr? Don't, you know, that's my argument. He makes some bonehead plays. But every quarterback does. But I just don't think that the hook should be as short as it is compared to some people. Because, hey, he threw that interception against the Chiefs. Everyone wanted his head cut off. And then he played a great game from there on out. So, to me, it's good to have a backup there that's actual that can actually do something. It's not like, you know, if Carr got hurt that Peterman's going in or, you know, when Matt, not when Matt Flynn, Matt McGoin went in and then Connor Cook, E.J. Manuel, you know, the, when those guys came in for Carr, they didn't do much. But I think Mariota could have a, a, a significant, he would be a lot better than those guys that came in when Carr was hurt. But I just don't want this Mariota thing dividing the Raider Nation, and I'm scared that it's going to. Um, I'll just say this. If the team is consistently winning and they're at a winning record, don't break, don't change what's not broken. Everything needs to be improved on the Raiders. Not just the quarterback, not just the defense, everything. We are not an undefeated team. We are not a playoff team yet. I think we're close. Closer than I thought we were going to be this year. But I think that with Mariota being active and around, I just feel like there there's going to be a lot more chattering and chirping, and I just think it's not good for the Raider Nation. And that's why I think it's more significant than the David Irving thing. I just don't want us as a fan base to separate because of this Derek Carr, Marcus Mariota controversy thing. If it's not broken, don't fix it. If you're winning games, don't change anything. Don't do what Miami's doing. Putting in the sexy player like they are with Tua. Even though Ryan Fitzpatrick just played lights out last week. Last two weeks against Sam Fran and the Jets and he gets benched. Doesn't make sense, but other than that, news looking good. For the Raiders and the Raider Nation. So everyone should be as excited as I am. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to see David Irving in silver and black. It's going to be nice to see Mariota on the sidelines. Not hurt. 
and able to play if, God forbid, Carr gets hurt. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's a good week and it's another victory week when we uh, Sunday Night Football against Tampa Bay Bucks. They're looking really good lately. I'm not going to lie. They're looking really good lately. So that's all we got, guys. I mean, like I said in the beginning, thank you guys for watching. Do us a favor. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. You know, comment below on your thoughts of this video. Remember to always check out Yankee Chatter, East Coast Nation Podcast, and any other things we're going to drop on the channel. We've got some stuff brewing. We're going to try our best to get more consistent stuff out there. Um, but then again, we are human beings. We have jobs. And uh, if you guys keep subscribing, maybe we can turn this into our job and bigger and brighter can be just as big as anything else. So we'll see you guys later. Have fun, be safe, and as always, let's go Raiders.